Hey big family, it's Jonathan with The Soundstage and I'm on a scavenger hunt for music. I've heard a lot of people talk about a musician who plays Chinese folk music named Zhang San and I've followed the music with my ears right to this apartment. I'm hoping that he's inside. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, I'm looking for Zhang San. I was wondering if, if he's here, if I could uh, listen yeah. to his music. Okay, look around and see. No, it's me. <laughs> okay, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. But uh, nice I'm you. looking for the Chinese musician who's playing the Chinese folk music today. Well, it's me as well. Mm -hmm. This is your apartment? Uh, it's not my apartment, but it's his uh, studio where I record sometimes. Okay, so it's Zhang San's apartment. Do you think you could go find him for me? And uh... It's me, I'm Zhang San, man. I'm okay. Jiangshan. I am Jiangshan. Oh. But you look like you're not a Chinese person. Your English is so good. Alright. I'm not a Chinese person, but I'm not a Chinese person. Jiangshan. Jiangshan is my English name. But I'm called Jiangshan. I'm called Jiangshan. Wow. English is so good. When I first came to China, the feeling that I had is that I found something that was really different from what I knew. And I, I like the, uh, the idea and, and the challenge to, to try to understand this. Hello, I am uh, Zhang San, but Zhang San is my artist name, my real name is Jean Sebastien. I've been coming to Beijing since the year 2000. I first came here to see my sister who was working here as a journalist. When I was in France, uh, I come from Bordeaux and I was in Bordeaux. I had already started to, to learn Chinese, um, but it's only when I came to China in the year 2000 that I started to be able to speak, and, uh, and that's the moment when I really started to be interested by the Chinese culture. Right at the moment when I, when I came, I, I discovered the, the Beijing underground music. In 2006, I decided to establish uh, myself here, and uh, I found a job and I started to participate a lot more in, in the music scene. I, I created a band that was called uh, The Incredible JSB, and then I, later on, I created the band that was called, uh, that is still existing. It's called uh, the Amazing Insurance Salesman. And uh, all through that time, I, I've, I've always been uh, doing uh, music on my own as a solo artist. This uh, this instrument is a Chinese instrument. It's called Zhongzhuan. Like any other, uh, like Han uh, instrument, the, it was built around the idea of the pentatonic. So what is a pentatonic? Is uh, you know like. Uh, Something like that, right? So it's only five notes. From the first time I came here, I wanted to mix Chinese music with Western music. So when I bought this instrument the first time in, uh, in the year 2002, uh, I saw it in, in the shop and it, it's close to a guitar, so I thought I'm going to buy it and try to, 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 to see what I can do with it. And uh, I, I bought records uh, of um, people playing that instrument and, and started to listen to it and started to learn a few tunes with it. And so, um, after, after a while, I, uh, I decided to find my own way of playing with it. So I, uh, I, I developed uh, a way to, to tune it, and also uh, different ways to tune it. And I found a way uh, later to, to play jazz with it. Music in China is, is linked with a philosophy. And the philosophy is like everything has to be in, uh, in harmony. So they, they, ra they rarely use the, uh, the half tones because the half tones create uh, emotions. And uh, in, 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 in the past, uh, the idea was to, music was always in the background and was to accompany life. When emperors were, were ruling China, they were, they were using music as a, as a background for, for whatever rights they were accomplishing. Like to explain myself, I would compare that maybe to the Chinese paintings. Because the Chinese paintings, they, they, they follow uh, rules that are very precise. They never really change. Like the classical stuff, the, the, the classical form is always the same classical form. Uh, and with music, it's, a, it's like a little bit the same. There are rules. And the rules is that the harmony has to be uh, like accompanying nature or accompanying the people, but, but it's never in the front. And, and to me, the, 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 the reason why uh, pop music in China is, is what it is. It's, it's also the part of this philosophy that it doesn't express emotions that are too strong. It expresses something that anybody can, can agree with. Like pop music is always, is always about love. And it's never about, about uh, I mean, it's, it's rarely about something else. And I think the idea is like to, to accompany most people. And not, not like to, 
to talk about something, a subject that would uh, 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 like uh, like it wouldn't make people talk about their feelings too much, but like their real feelings about everything, only about love. Yeah. Sure.